The North Bay town of Bolinas is known as a destination for colorful characters, a place that embraces its reputation as a bit of an outsider. Wow. So it seems appropriate that every winter, ah, stunning. the town is visited by thousands of equally colorful travelers. Look at that, it's so beautiful. This grove of eucalyptus trees in Bolinas is among the annual overwintering sites for monarch butterflies. We are at the historical overwintering site at the Bee Pud Sewer Pond land, and it is on fire today with monarchs. This inferno of butterflies is burned into the memory of Ola Shell, who grew up with monarchs on his family's Bolinas ranch. There was a time in my youth when you could shake a branch and maybe a thousand would fly off. Look at all these. I love it when they hang down from the branch, you know? But the plight of the butterflies hasn't been that pretty of late. From a population once estimated at three million in California, a beautiful cluster. Their numbers plummeted to just around 2,000 statewide in the year of 2020. It inspired Shell to do something. About two years ago, some friends and I decided to take some action and build a uh, monarch sanctuary on my family ranch, which entailed planting several thousand native nectar plants to give them a food source. He calls his project the West Marin Monarch Sanctuary. He's since expanded the project from his ranch to other sites around Bolinas. Working to protect the trees the monarchs visit and planting the kind of nectar plants the butterflies feed on. So that's the goal, to restore the monarch population as much as we can. It's absolutely astonishing to see so many monarchs flying around. Since that dire year of 2020, California's monarch population rebounded last year to 300,000. I'm always heartened to see this after what I saw in the winter of 2020-2021, uh, when the population dipped down to uh, just a couple hundred butterflies here in Bolinas. But there are many challenges. A couple weeks ago, a PG&E subcontractor accidentally cut down a tree protecting one of the monarch sites from wind. And these wax myrtle shrubs are going to be a windscreen uh, for this winter to try and protect the site. And there is a movement to remove non-native eucalyptus trees, which is a main habitat of the native monarchs. We are concerned that if the eucalyptus are just removed in one fell swoop, it'll devastate and maybe end the monarch butterfly population in West Marin. I'd say there's a thousand here today. The numbers coming back shows that there is resiliency and we show it's possible that they can come back. Beautiful. So as the monarchs come back here year after year, Shell hopes the work will give them more to come back to. It's a special place to come with a lot of history. Joe Rosado Jr. Oh, look at this, beautiful right here. NBC Bay Area News.